Welcome back YouTubers. Today I'll be doing a video on my home medical kit, okay? The bag I chose is the Puma Outlier bag, okay? It looks like a medical bag, so it's durable. Um, it more than does the job. Holds all the equipment that I need. It's portable, but at the same time, it can hold a lot for me to stockpile for my long-term medical kit. Stay tuned. So one of the things to remember is that this bag is designed for if there is no emergency help available, okay? There is no EMS, there's no paramedics, there's no nurses, no doctors, no hospitals, okay? So this is worst case scenario. We're in a disaster. There is no help coming. We have to, we have to sustain ourselves and provide for ourselves. That's what this kit is designed to do. And over time, I'm, I'm gonna build on it to make sure that it's totally capable to do that. And I'm also going to learn the skills along with my, my friends and family in order to be able to achieve whatever medical skills that we might need if necessary. And of course, there are some things that you'll never be able to fix short of having all the fancy equipment and, 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 and trained doctors and so forth. So we just want to be able to do basic surgeries and basic traumas at the highest level. But right now, let's just talk basics. Okay, folks. So Rome wasn't built in a day. Before I go over all the items in my bag, I just want you guys to look at what kind of a basic first aid kit would look like, okay? Because this is where you start, and prepping is all about building blocks. You start small, and over time, you add to it, add to it, until you have a castle built, okay? So right here, I know it looks like a lot, and it is, but really all it is is a lot of band-aids and a lot of rolled gauze. Also a pair of tweezers and some um, adhesive pads as well. Okay, right here, this is an Israeli style bandage, okay? That's a great thing to have, especially for traumatic injuries. This here is the Cat T tourniquet, okay? This is a great tourniquet, okay? Tourniquets are used to stop the blood flow in limbs, especially like your legs, from traumatic injuries with a lot of bleeding, okay? And this is um, some hydrogen perox peroxide just to sanitize everything, okay? Very important. And duct tape too, okay? Duct tape is cheap. I would go with the higher end, like Gorilla Tape or, or something even better than that. Um, it has a lot of uses. It can be used to splint um, in an emergency, and it can be used to do a lot of things and even cover up wounds if you got a dressing under it. So duct tape has a lot of uses, and um, it should be included in any medical kit and probably any, any, any prepping kit, to be honest. So this is what the basics are. Let's get into everything that I have in this bag. All right, there's a look at all the items laid out, okay? So those Band-Aid bags, you'll see three of them, okay? These are totally filled and jam-packed with rolled gauze, adhesive pads, and Band-Aids, okay? I probably have about a 1,000 Band-Aids in all three of those bags. More stuff to kind of disinfect. You could spray this directly on wounds, just some antibacterial hand spray, okay? Moleskin padding for your feet, okay? I can't forget that as preppers because sometimes, I don't know, we just want to do this thing called bug out. Notice two rolls of duct tape instead of one now, okay? So that's how you keep adding to it. Just an adhesive pad, okay? An example of what's in these, really. Um, you got uh, some, some splints for uh, your fingers, some gloves, okay? Some just rolled gauze. More hydrogen peroxide, this time in the form of wipes, which is very convenient, okay? Um, I have several of these chest seals, okay, by Sam, okay. Um, for those who don't know what a chest seal does, it basically um, helps you breathe in case your lungs are punctured, okay. So let's say a tree falls and you and punctures a lung, or let's say you get shot in the lung, God forbid, right. A chest seal is going to help you breathe. It's literally the, the difference between life and death, okay. Very important, okay. So now, I got some of these uh, skin staplers, okay? I have several of these. Probably have about 10 of them, okay? Um, basically, if you can't um, stitch anything up, yes, you can use staples in order to close the wound, okay? And it even comes with its own removing tool. Okay, this, this removes the staples as the wound heals, okay? And as a secondary option, I had to have some just super strips, okay? Which, um, are basically plastic and they basically you tighten them down and it's very similar to just having stitches okay without actually doing the, the stitching okay um, 
a step farther than that would actually be learning how to stitch and how to do those things, okay? I know surgeons go to school a long time for that, and I don't want to discredit anything that they do because I am by no means a medical expert, okay? I'm just a guy trying to just be independent if I have to and be self-sustainable if I have to. Okay, remember, this bag is all about based on if there is no help coming and there's, there's no one here to help, I'm on my own, okay? Or we're on our own, okay? Because it's, it's a team effort, right? So you and your family, whoever, whoever your squad is, you guys are on your own. So, um, so this medical kit, I would say, is pretty good. Um, like I said, I've built on it over time, and it's by no means complete, okay? I still have a lot of things I need to add to it. Um, it doesn't have any cold packs or instant cold packs. That would be a great thing to have as well. Um, so I'm going to keep adding to this and hopefully by this time next year, it'll be even more, um, advanced. Okay. Um, but I, I'm pretty confident with this, this, um, for what it has. Okay. Um, this is more than capable. Okay. And again, you start small, you don't have to go crazy and kill your budget. Start small, get a tourniquet, get a pack of bandages. Okay. Put them in a Ziploc bag. And then start building up from there. Get a chest seal, get an Israeli bandage, get a lot of rolled gauze, okay? And just keep keep building it as time goes on. And one day you'll have a you'll have a super kit that will last forever and you won't have to worry about it, right? So this is not a kit that you bring really in your car. This is more of a long term sustainment, medical sustainment kit, okay? Um so Again, start small and just um, do your best to just get it, get as many items as you can.